This video briefly illustrates one approach to the analysis of single-cell experiment data using the next-generation clustered heat map system. This video presents a broad overview of how the various components of the system work together to provide a powerful analysis environment. It is not intended to be a detailed tutorial guide to individual features. For detailed tutorial assistance, please refer to other videos on our channel. If you're not already familiar with the goals and overall functionality of the NGCHM system and its panel interface, we recommend that you watch an introductory video or two first. This video's description contains references to several introductory videos, and there's a link out to a panel interface tutorial at the top right. To explore and analyze the single cell data, we will use the NGCHM viewer in conjunction with the scatter plot and pathway tools. The panel interface and the tools discussed in this video were released with version 2.18 of the viewer. We will be analyzing data that was published by Lake et al. in 2016. It includes just over 25,000 genes and 3,000 cells. The NGCHM includes all of the data in the paper. Note that we have log transformed the data in the heat map. After the NGCHM has been opened, we will quickly rearrange the panels to use the available screen space more effectively for this type of analysis. For details, see our tutorial video on the panel interface. When this map was generated, we used ARS UWOT package to generate UMAP coordinates for each cell and attached these coordinates to the NGCHM. When this map's scatter plot tool is first opened, it will default to these UMAP coordinates and decoloring cells by the cell type annotation included in the data. We will stay with the UMAP coordinates but switch to coloring cells by the brain area from which the cells were taken. In addition to all of the standard NGCHM tools for selecting samples, you can also select samples using the lasso tool in the scatter plot. For details, see our tutorial video on the scatter plot tool. By selecting small regions of adjacent points on the scatter plot, we see that there is reasonable agreement between the clustering methods. I will use the right panel to display a modified version of the pathway mapper tool. For details on that tool, see our tutorial video. Pathway Mapper provides numerous methods for loading a pathway of interest. For instance, you can load a pathway from the C-Bio portal. Here I load the RTKRAS pathway from the 2013 TCGA paper. The genes in the pathway can be colored using data from the NGCHM. Here I will perform a t-test between two groups of cells. For the first group, I am choosing the cells selected in the heat map. I have left the second group blank, so it will default to all cells not in the first group. When apply is clicked, the specified t-test will be performed for all genes that are in both the pathway and the heat map, and two values will be added to the genes concerned. These values are the t-statistic and the p-value. No values will be added to genes not in the heat map. In addition to loading C-Bio portal pathways, you can load a custom pathway from a file. The file's contents don't need to be strictly a pathway, just a collection of genes. Here, I load a file that contains a variety of marker genes useful for determining cell type and color them using the NGCHM data. The average expression of EGFR in the selected cells is much higher than in the other cells. Selecting another group of cells and recoloring the pathway shows that EGFR is not significantly higher in this new group of cells. It's also possible to show pathway genes in the NGCHM. Selecting one or more genes in the pathway and clicking Highlight Selected will add the specified genes to the selection. To see the selected genes, I will replace the summary heat map with a detail heat map and switch to horizontal ribbon mode. The arrow in the search area for moving to the next selection can be used to show the selected gene. It's also possible to color the scatter plot by the selected gene or genes. When more than one gene is selected, the average value of the genes in each cell is used. This concludes this video. If you would like to see any additional features added to the NGCHM system, please contact us.